Gone. Shalom. This is GMS Holland. Sit downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakodash. Basham Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, GMS, for teaching us this truth and that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Gone. So uh, I set up this live stream. You know, and as you see, I call it back in depth because that's a. It's like it. That's a series that I always do when I go into certain topics that are kind of back in the days. You know, um, when I came in, it's truth, and even before that, you know, uh, the breakdown, uh, breakdowns that we really went into, you know, and that are kind of hard to find nowadays. You know, I call them back in depth series. You know, so if you want to see certain old breakdowns, you know, from back in the days that are aren't really pushed anymore then uh, if you go to my page my channel I have a playlist that says back in depth videos you know so today I want to go over um, the Sabbath um, breaking down the Sabbath you know in the right way you know uh, not how <clears throat> you know the majority of the people break it down Seek a fissy, you know. Um, so I have a, I actually have a, a, a Shabbat video breakdown out there on my channel. If you just type in GMS Holland sit downs, um, Sabbath, you you will find it. But um, you know, I just thought about making a new one because you know this thing is a thing of repetition. So that's what we have to do. We have to go over it over and over again. And sometimes more scriptures can be added to it, which are um, profitable for the body and uh, the edification thereof. So first off, we're gonna start with Exodus. Exodus chapter um, 20, verse eight. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy Six days shall thou labor And do all thy work But the seventh day is the day of Yahweh Thy power In it thou shalt not do any work Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter Thy manservant Nor thy maidservant Nor thy cattle Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth The sea and all that and all that is in uh, that in them is and rested the seventh day wherefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it you know so if we go into the word Sabbath it means uh, intermission to rest to cease you know which cease goes into stop uh, 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 stop doing certain things if you cease, cease from working, you stop working, you know, so basically the Sabbath day is, uh, is a day that you have to cease from doing your own things. You have to rest, you have to, you know, uh, meditate upon your Hav Hashem Yahu Shai, you know, that's the, that's the day that the Heavenly Father gave us. But nowadays you got the Christian church speak on uh, that it's the, the Sunday, you know, which Sunday really goes into uh, sun worship. You know, if you go look at the Vatican, they have, uh, the Pope has a certain staff and a throne, you know, where on you see uh, the depiction of the sun being glorified, uh, uh, a staff of gold, you know. Then you got these um, simple-minded Israelites that say uh, it's Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, which that's off too, because where is Friday, Saturday found in the scriptures? Nowhere, you know, it's nowhere to be found. So what, what did we have back in the days that basically gave us the understanding of the times that we were in? That was the sun and the moon, you know? So, I'm gonna go into Genesis, chapter one, verse 14. Um, and the powers, because if you look up the word God there, it says Allah Hayyam. So it says, and the power said, 
let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years you see so the most i gave us the sun and the moon the lights in the firmament for us to discern the times and the seasons now we are in the winter time the sun is far off that's why it is colder you know what happens in the in the night time in the night time the, the moon uh, uh, appears you know in the night time the moon appears so the moon also changes in its uh, in its appearance you know so with that you can discern the times the seasons the days you know knowing uh, what time we are living in but that is not being used nowadays you had the gregorian calendar you had the the, the julian calendar you know all uh, all influenced by these uh, so-called uh, white people which the scriptures speak on that they would change the times and the laws you know but here you see that the most i said in genesis that the, the sun and the moon is given to you to discern the times and the seasons you know so why would we go off on a on a on a friday and a saturday or on a sunday which are um, uh, greek worship days greek and roman worship days you know because friday goes back to Freita, which Freita is a is a is a roman goddess a roman goddess of love then you have a saturday which goes into saturnus which is the word worshiping saturnus then you have sunday you know and that speaks for itself worshiping the sun man you know so how can you go by a roman calendar you know that is is mingled around with and, and fucked around with because really if you look at the uh, Gregorian calendar, which we live in right now, it has July, July and August. Because July and August go back to Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar, which were the two Caesars that reigned the longest period of the Roman Empire. They both decided that a, that a month would be called after their name. You know, so uh, uh, prior to the Gregorian calendar, you had the, uh, the Julian calendar, which had July uh, 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 referring to Julius with 31 days. So then after Ju uh, Julius Caesar, he had Augustus Caesar, which Augustus wanted to have 31 days too. So he also had 31 days. You gotta think about it. Why do, uh, does every month switch from 30 to 31 days? And then all of a sudden, July and August have 31 days in, uh, back to back. It's because these proud devils always want to exalt themselves. You know, if I'm a Caesar too, and, and Julius, uh, Julius is a Caesar, why does he have 31 days and I only have uh, 30 days? That can't, can't be happening. So they both took 31 days, you know? So if we go into the book of Psalms, Psalms 104, verse 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun know it is going down. So with the moon, we can decide the seasons that we are in. You know, and what is a part of the season? A month. So every month can be explained. Uh, every month or the, the, the part of the month that we are in, the second week, the first week, the third week, the fourth week can be decided by looking at the moon. You know, you got the first quarter, the second quarter, you know, the third quarter, Hey, Shalomah Makyam, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Makar Kudash Brakatam. Yeah, Ghana, I see you in a minute, man. Yeah, we on the way to the camp, so, you know. Yeah, man. The camera's not pointed at us because uh, dudes are sick over here, you know. <laughs> anyway, Psalms 104 and 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun know it is going down. You know, so concerning the sun when the sun goes down that means that the day is ended the sun is for the day and the moon is for the night you know like it says in genesis chapter 1 genesis chapter 1 verse 5 and the most i called the light day and the darkness he called night 
and the evening and the morning were the first day you see so the the day really starts in the evening so when the sun goes down that's when the when that's when the day starts the new day starts you know but like it said in in the book of psalms the moon is created uh, to appoint seasons now if we go into the book of Sirach you know I'm just flowing over the scriptures because this is this is basically milk this is just the milk man this is if you don't get the Sabbath man if you don't understand the Sabbath day you are lactose intolerant man because that, that milk is, is not, you're not able to swallow that milk and spiritually because the milk uh, 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 a big number of uh, Israelites are lactose intolerant in, in reality you know but spiritually they are also uh, lactose intolerant man so this is uh, Sirach chapter 43 starting with verse 5 great is Yahweh that made it and at his commandment it runneth hastily he made the moon also to serve in her seasons for a declaration of times and a sign of the world you see so the moon is created for a declaration of time man I believe I battled some reprobates two years ago and reposted the battle recently. <laughs> can can can. No, yeah, there's no getting around it, man. But we gotta bring out this this truth, man. You know, even old old breakdowns from back in the days that we don't really go over anymore. They, we gotta bring them back, man, because dumb, some dummies are out there, man, with with their uh, reprobate mind. You know, so it's good to to. to Put in remembrance who got the, who got the fruit and who got the wine, the oil. So the moon is um, is set up for a declaration of times. That's why, if you look it up, uh, the month represents the moon cycle. You know, and the calendars that we are living under right now they are corrupt, man. You know, if you look up the word month in the etymology. Uh, in the Greek it says, uh, the word moon in the Greek is mene, comes from men, meaning month. You see, that's what you look, when you look it up, that's really what it is, man. You know, and if you say month in the Dutch, the only thing you do is you place a D behind the word moon. The word moon in, in Dutch is man. And if you say a month in the Dutch, you say man D. You put the D in the back, month. So the word moon is already in the word month, you know? Because the moon represents, uh, 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 the season, shows forth the season of the month. You know, when you, see, when you say there's a new, new month, that means there's a, 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 a new moon, you know? The moon became new again. And that word new in the Greek is kainos, which means to refresh, you know? It's being refreshed, it's being renewed. It starts over again. So, Sirach chapter 43, verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. For the moon is, a si is the sign of feasts, a light that decreases in her perfection. You see, so the moon is is, 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 is a sign of feast, man. Which one of our feasts, one of our holy days is the Sabbath. You know, you have the new moon Sabbath. That's the first day of the month. You know, that shows you um, uh, the, the, the new moon cycle. The new month cycle, you know, where it begins. And then after the new moon is passed, which is the first day of the month, you you uh, you take seven days and then it's the Sabbath again. You know that's how it works. So from the moon is the sign of feasts, a light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name. You see, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven, the beauty of heavens, the glory of the stars, an ornament giving light in the highest places of Yahweh. So the most has a, a particular, hey, that's a messed up word, particularly, particular, <laughs> leave it. The most has set up the moon, especially for, for showing for the signs, man. Uh, the signs, you have the blood moon, you know, things like that, the moon eclipse, but also the seasons, man, just to show you what time it is. 
you know back in the days you also had um these edomites had this um this uh, thing in their front yard where, where with if the moon uh, no if, if the sun shines upon it it shows forth the shadow and with that shadow of that that um, that small monument you can see what time it is you know so with the sun and the moon the times and seasons are being shown forth so the month is called after the name of the moon why the, the moon shows forth the month when the moon becomes whole and the moon decreases again that's when the month is finished and a new month starts okay so I was saying uh, in the beginning that you know these these calendars that we are under right now you, you really can't follow those calendars man because they are corrupted you know the, these calendars are made by Esau's hand man you know okay, um, these calendars are corrupted man hey shalom Michael. yeah we don't go live during camp man we don't do uh, live camp uh, shows Maybe through the spirit today we can, but I don't think uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. We just record it. So this is Daniel, Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Yeah, so. Esau thinks that uh, Esau actually changed the times and the laws, man. You know, he lets you swear on the Bible, then puts the Bible away, and then grabs his own law book. And um, so he changed the laws, and he changed the times, man. Like I was saying, Esau added, Julius Caesar added 31 days to his month, and Augustus Caesar uh, added, uh, uh, well, he put 31 days to his month. You know, then if you go into the into, into the months, the old way of uh, the old number of the of the month September was seven, but in this time that we are living in right now, September is uh, is the ninth month. You know, which doesn't make sense because if you go into the word September, it shows for the the number uh, seven because sept goes to uh, goes into seven. You know, in, 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 in Spanish and Latin, they say uh, siete, which is seven, you know. And then if you go into the, uh, into the month October, octo, if you look at the, at, at the word octopus, why is it called the octopus? Because it has eight arms, you know, octo, in the, in the Spanish is ocho, is eight. So that's supposed to be the eighth month, but in the time that we're living in, they changed it to the tenth month. Then you have November, which comes from the Spanish word uh, 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 nueve, which is nine. But then it's the eleventh month in this calendar that we are in. Then you have December, which comes from the Spanish word or Latin, yes, which is ten. You know, but now it's the twelfth month. So you see, the things are sifted. The things are sifted and the things are changed. Because Esau thinking to change times and laws constantly, man. You know, then in February you have um, you have. Who um, knew me that I don't know how you say it in English. You have um, uh, every now and then. Four you, years, every four years. Every four years you have that uh, the number of the days in February change. Then it's 28, and then it's uh, 29, I believe, or 27. 29. 29. And why doesn't why doesn't it have uh, 30 days there like the other months? So they had to do this because they they they've been fucking around with the months, and otherwise it wouldn't be it wouldn't be uh, uh, correct anymore. They had to do these things, but then still, also here in Holland, what they do is um, they have a winter time and a summer time. You know, when the summer time comes, they put the clock one hour back. When the winter time comes in, they put the clock one hour uh, in front, you know? So that's changing the times, man. 
who gave you the who gave you the right and the power to just do that? The Mosai did, of course. But that's that's all because it's prophecy. Daniel the seventh chapter, the twenty-fifth verse. He take it to take change times and laws. You know? So and then the other thing is that Esau changed the times also in a way that they say when it's zero zero zero, so when it's twelve o'clock in the night, then the new day begins, which that's not the case. The day doesn't begin in the middle of the night. Why would it begin in the in the middle of the night? When the sun goes down, that's the beginning of the day, like we just read in Genesis. Let me read it again. Genesis chapter 1, verse 5. And the most I called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening, so when the sun goes down, it's evening, and the morning were the first day. So today it's February the, 12th, uh, the 8th, right? Today is February the 8th. I believe it's the Nine. Oh, February 9th. So when the sun goes down today, it's gonna be February the 10th because the evening is uh, is the beginning of the new day, you know. But Esau says uh, at midnight the new day starts. That's why you see the date change after zero zero zero, you know, which that's not the case concerning the Bible. The most I said. When the sun goes down, that's that's when the when the first day, uh, when the next day starts. You know, the most I called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. You see, so the day really starts, you know, when the sun goes down, and not zero zero zero. You know, so there are things that you can't go by uh, because they changed it. So why would you go by the, uh, the the Gregorian and the Roman calendar? You can't do that neither. You know? We go by the moon. Because the moon shows forth what uh, 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 the month, what time we are in, in the month. So then we go to Psalms 81. Yeah. Psalms 81, verse 3. And it says, Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was the statute for Israel and the law of the Most High of Jacob. You see, so that's why we always say Sabbath Shalom when the Sabbath comes in. We got to remind each other, you know, that the Sabbath comes in. Because the new moon is the Sabbath. The new moon is the first day of the month. So if the new moon is the first day of the month, then seven days later, you know, it's the same day as, as it was on the new moon. So that's the seventh day is the Sabbath. You know, prior to that, uh, 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 seven days before that, it's the new moon. You know, so it goes hand in hand with each other. So blow ye the trumpet, warn each other, basically um, uh, speak to each other. Hey, tonight is going to be uh, the new moon. You know, the new moon is about to come in. Sabbath is up. It's about to change. You know, blow ye the trumpet, which the trumpet means warning, represents warning. <clears throat> now you might think, where what scripture does, uh, what what scripture says that uh, the new moon is the first day? That's what I'm about to grab right now. First Samuel, chapter twenty. Starting with verse twenty-four. So David hid himself in the field when the new moon was come. So King David was hiding in the field while it was the new moon. Okay? So this day was the new moon. The king set him down to, uh, to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat and at other times even upon a seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose and Abner sat by Saul's side. And David's place was empty. Saul spake not anything that day, for he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean. Surely he is not clean, you know, because um, when you unclean, you know, uh, you don't want uh, want to defile other people, you know. So you basically um, separate yourself 
from the people. That's why when a woman is unclean, you gotta separate yourself. She gotta separate herself from you. You know, she's unclean, she has a period. You know, when a person is leprous, he's unclean, he needs to separate himself too. When a woman just gave birth to a child, to a child she's unclean too. So keep in mind the day that King, King David was not at the supper on the new moon, uh, 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 he was not at the supper, it was the new moon. You know, verse 27, and it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month. You see that? So the day that King David hid himself in the field, it was the new moon. And here it says the second day of the month. You know, to, the morrow was the second day of the month. That shows you that the first day of the month is the new moon. You know? The, uh, let me read it again. Verse 27. And it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that, David play, uh, that David's place was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet? Neither yesterday nor today. You know? So this shows you the new moon is the first day of the month. So from that day, seven days later, we keep the Sabbath. You know? Continually until the new moon comes in again. And, and this is uh, the scripture that backs that up. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, said Yahweh. You see? So from one new moon to another new moon, and from one new moon, uh, 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 from one Sabbath to another Sabbath, you come to worship before Yahweh Shemir Oshai. You keep the law, and commandments, which a part of the law, and commandments is the Sabbath, man. You know? Now, now we're trying to keep it to the best of our abilities, but soon, you know, we will, we will uh, inherit a pure mind, man. A pure mind that um, that um, that can't go off, man. That can't sin. And shalom, Allah, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Hashem, Rakadash, Rakadash. See you in a minute. You know. So now, now we still struggle with the, uh, 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 with keeping the, the Sabbath perfectly. But soon in the kingdom is gonna uh, uh, is gonna be perfect, man. You know, but the point is, from one from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, that's how we got to keep the Sabbath, man. So until the new moon changes, you keep the Sabbath on the day that it was appointed to. Um, going to Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel, chapter forty-six. Ezekiel chapter 46, verse 1. Thus said Yahweh the Most High, The gate of the inner court that looketh towards the east shall be shut six working days, but on the Sabbath it shall be opened, and in the day of the new moon it shall be opened. So it shows you, in, in a week, in one week you have a Sabbath, you know? And every week you have a Sabbath. Now, if the gate is open six days, um, if the if the gate is closed six days, and the seventh day it's opened, and that seventh day is the Sabbath, on the Sabbath it shall be open. But then on the new moon it's open too. That shows you that the Sabbath goes hand in hand with the new moon. You know, otherwise it would be open uh, um, uh, two days in a week. Once a month, because once a month it's the new moon, you know? If the Sabbath is not the new moon, if the new moon and the Sabbath are not on the same day, then there should be, uh, then one week in a month, there should be, uh, the gate should be closed five days and open two days, because then you have the, the, the new moon and the sh uh, Shabbat separately. But that's not the case, because the Sabbath is the new moon, you know? Let me read it again. Ezekiel 46 and 1, Thus said Yahweh the Most High, The gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days, but on the Sabbath it shall be opened, and in the day of the new moon it shall be opened. You see? Because they go hand in hand with each other, man. Then we go to the book of Amos.
Ganak, Eitoad Akia. Then we go to the book of Amos. Chapter 8, verse 5. Saying, when will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? And the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit. So, you know, a lot of deceit was going on in, uh, among Israel in that day, you know, and they couldn't wait to make that money, you know, but they had to wait until the Sabbath was gone, you know, which is Sabbath, and they had to wait until the new moon was gone because the new moon is the Sabbath, you know. If it wasn't the case, then why does it say uh, they have to wait to sell corn uh, uh, until the new moon is gone? You know, if you say the new moon is not the Sabbath, then um, where uh, where does it say that, um, you know, especially on the new moon, you cannot um, uh, sell, uh, uh, um, buy and sell? That's, that's a rule that applies to the Sabbath. But this shows you that the Sabbath is the new moon, you know? Let me read it again, saying, When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekels great, and falsifying the palaces by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuse of the wheat. You see? So that's another cut, man. You know, so... What is important to uh, to do and not do on the uh, on the Shabbat? It's important that you take your rest, man. You know, of course, it's messed up. Brothers gotta work, uh, you know, in this wicked ass kingdom. That's why the the Book of Judges says this. Let me grab the Book of Judges real quick. Judges chapter five. Judges chapter five, verse eleven. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawn water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. They shall uh, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates, which we are about to go down to the gate right now. <laughs> we go to we are about to go to the gate, man, to the inner court, you know, to the marketplace to preach the word for Yahweh Shimon Shai. You know, so we are living in a time that we are uh, rehearsing the righteous acts in the land of drawn water, which that's the land of slavery, which where Israel is, there there he is in captivity, man. You know, we are we are working on a day to day basis because we are in, we are in captivity, man. That's the place of drawn waters, but there we shall rehearse the righteous acts, which one of the righteous acts is keeping the Sabbath, man, keeping keeping the Sabbath day holy. You know, so you gotta know. How to keep the Sabbath day holy, man. Which that's what we're going to go into right now. First we go to Isaiah chapter 58. Starting with verse 13. This is Isaiah 58 verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. From doing thy pleasure on my holy day. And call the Sabbath a delight. The holy of, uh, the, holy of the Lord. Um, honorable and shall honor him not doing thine own ways nor finding thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words you see so on the Shabbat you're supposed to meditate meditate upon Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's works and, and words even more man throughout the whole week you're supposed to do this but on the Shabbat even more man you know refrain from doing your own pleasures your own things you know and there's a there's a build up towards this you know when you just come into this truth you work your way towards it man you're not gonna jump and, and, and keep them keep the sabbath you know uh, you know not using the microwave you should, actually you shouldn't use the microwave anyway any goddamn way because it fucking creates cancer you shouldn't have a microwave in your house in the first place but just uh, for the sake of edification some brothers do have a microwave you shouldn't be using that, man. You know, but some, like, when you just start keeping the Sabbath, you know, just, just take it patiently, man. If you still want to warm up your food, you know, on the Sabbath days, then, you know, gradually work towards it that you're not doing it anymore. You know, don't boil water. 
You know, the scripture says that you shouldn't sh sodden on the on the on the on the Sabbath. Which, if you look up that word sodden, it goes into boil, man. You know, it goes into boil. Plus, how did we how did we boil something um, back in the days with fire? Which the scripture says you shall not kindle fire on the Sabbath. Which I'm which I'm gonna go into uh, right now. You know, so if you cook water with a water cooker, you can't say, yeah, I'm not, I'm not using fire. But those are the perks that we have in this, in the society that we live in right now. Water cooker, oven, microwave, um, um, ele uh, electric ga uh, stoves, electric stoves. You know, you got, you, you know, Jacob, man. Jacob is a supplanter, so he's gonna think of ways that he can still do the things that he should should refrain from. You know, which is uh, one of that is cooking, man. Prepare your, your your food the day before. You know, so then you got Jake, of course, the ultimate supplanter, saying, "Yeah, but I got an electric uh, stove." Man, rehearse the righteous acts, man. But then, like I was saying, we're gradually towards keeping the Sabbath, you know, an honorable in an honorable and sincere way. You know, because. You can also overdo it and put burdens upon yourself, you know, that are that are kind of messed up. For example, if you put on the uh, the heater, you know, water starts boiling too. The heater is being activated by by the boiler, which the word already says it. It's a boiler, man. It, it's it's gonna boil the water, which is gonna flow through your heaters, man, and warm up the house. So then, if you if you really want to keep it perfectly, you shouldn't use the heater neither. You shouldn't shower then. You know, because if you shower, you you the boiler starts heating up too. What is light? You shouldn't put on put on light then. You know, lamps, because lamps have electricity running through it, which that electricity is fire, man. You know, that's why when the prophets was looking uh, at the chariots, the lights in the in the in the firmament, they called them a uh, 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 fire, man. A pillar of fire by night. And the cloud by day you see because light represents fire if you if you don't agree with me turn on the light bulb for three four hours and then touch it <laughs> see what happens man see if if, if it's fire <laughs> your hand is gonna be burned man you see so light represents fire so if you if you really want to be you know so-called righteous then you have to refrain from all these things but we are still in captivity man you know we are still in captivity and if you put all these heavy burdens upon yourself you're gonna mess yourself up man you're gonna mess yourself up you know don't be over righteous like the scripture says why shouldst thou destroy thyself plus the scripture says the most has not created a man for the sabbath but the sabbath for for man you know for now, we try to keep it to the best of our abilities, but in the kingdom, it's going to be perfect, man. You know? Um, so this is... Um, let me go to the book of Exodus. Oh, wait. So it says... Yeah, so, so it says... Let me read uh, Isaiah 58 and 13 again. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable and shalt honor him not doing thine own ways nor finding thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words so speaking about sex you know having sex on the sabbath doing your own ways your own pleasures go to the gym and work out which that's work if you if you do physical exercise that's work on your body man you know which the scripture says thou shalt not work on, uh, on the on the sabbath you know so no physical exercise uh, um, no sex, which sex is pleasure, you know, and, and gradually you can work towards um, not watching no TV, man, not watching any movies, because a movie is pleasure on the Sabbath, man. Then you got spiritual movies out there, which which you can teach about or, or do a video about, you know, after you watched it, man. Spiritual um, uh, series, you know, documentaries, you know, but work uh, gradually towards it don't don't watch no um you know name a carnal movie 
a corner movie that isn't spiritual at all. Need for Speed or uh, what is that Fast and Furious? Which actually in Fast and Furious you have one Fast and Furious where they speak on God's eye. You know that's actually a very spiritual movie. But then I, you know what I'm saying, man. You got carnal ass movies. Don't go watch Sex in the City, man, on the Sabbath, man. You see. <laughs> But it's best to, to work gradually towards it to just not watch any movies. Then, you know, brothers often ask me the question. Brothers often ask me the question, can I play music on the Sabbath? You know, what do you think, man? If you are spiritual, why would you play that music? Because you have, you have pleasure in it, right? So the scripture says, uh, refrain from doing unknown pleasures. But then again, we are under grace, work gradually towards it on keeping the Sabbath in an honorable and acceptable way you know work gradually towards it man don't destroy yourself by putting all these burdens upon yourself because if you stop doing the things that Yahaba that you basically uh, uh, started doing then you mess yourself up man the same goes for these women you know when you start doing uh, uh, covering your head you're not supposed to stop man but then these females, they want to cover their head every now and then. Which that's not right, man. But then, okay, you know, try to do it to the best of your ability. But the point I'm trying to say is that, you know, work gradually towards it, man. You know? So no sex, no no, no pleasure, you know? But then if you put on music, don't come with, uh, what are these dumbass niggas nowadays, man? Don't come with the young thug, man. The record, the record, the record, the record. Don't come with that shit, man. If you want to put on some music, man, you should you should put on some 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 um, some uh, jazz, man. Put on some jazz or some harp, you know, some spiritual sounds, you know, some spiritual some 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 vibes, man, that you can study on. Not no not no adulterous ass songs, man. You know, I'm not even gonna pronounce the things that they say in these rap songs, man. But don't, you shouldn't be putting that on, man. That's not, that's not, that doesn't resemble rest. You see? That doesn't resemble rest, man. So that's doing your own pleasure. So let's go to the book of Exodus, chapter 34, um, 35. Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Um... Let me read first uh, two first. Six days shall the, shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be you be to you an holy day, a Sabbath for, of rest to Yahweh. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. So the Sabbath is a very serious thing, man. It's a very serious thing to consider, you know, and to gradually work towards and keeping upright, man. Yeah. Verse three. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. You see? So you're not supposed to put on uh, 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 no candle lights, which if you look up uh, uh, pictures on the Shabbat, um, you see that these fake Jews light fire, man, on the, on, the, on the Shabbat. They light candles, man. They light the menorah or some candles, which you're not supposed to do that, man. You know, you're not supposed to uh, burn incense neither. You know, which... That's a demon too, man. Every time on the Shabbat, you have the feeling you want to uh, burn incense. Because you want to, you know, uh, 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 boost the spirituality in your house. But you can't uh, kindle fire, man. Which if you burn incense, that's fire, man. You know, so keep that in mind. Don't burn any incense, man. Then if we go to the book of Acts. It also speaks on the Sabbath day's journey. It speaks on the Sabbath day's journey. So what does the Sabbath day's journey represent, man? The amount of, of uh, distance that you are, are allowed to travel on the Shabbat. This is Acts chapter 1 verse 12. Then return day unto Jerusalem. Turn that thing off, man. <laughs> uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 12. Then return day unto Jerusalem from Mount called Olivet which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. So the amount of uh, distance that you are allowed uh, to travel is from Jerusalem to Mount Olivet. And if you research that, it's approximately 900 meters to one kilometer. 
You know, I don't know how much miles that is, you know, for for you American cats. <laughs> but we work with kilometers here in Holland in uh, in uh, Europe. So look up, look up how much 800 meters or one kilometer is, you know, around that that um, that number. You know, you are allowed to to basically travel or walk. You know, look it up uh, how much miles it is. It is so Sabbath day's journey. Then we go back to Exodus. Links. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which Yahweh had said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto Yahweh. Bake that which he will bake today. And seed that ye will seed, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. You see, so the day before the Sabbath, you're supposed to prepare all your things, man, and keep it until the next day. Yeah, but I don't like to eat my food cold. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, that's why I was talking about that microwave thing, man, or that oven thing. You also got these electrical uh, grills you know you know you know it's cheating man but try to work towards it you know try to work towards an honorable and respectful uh, Shabbat, uh, Shabbat uh, uh, in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai so I said um, um, I was saying like what was it the word that goes into boil I, I, I forgot what word I said but I, I meant the word seed if you look up the word seed, it goes into the word boil, you know, so you're not supposed to boil neither on the Shabbat, which if you uh, heat up your food and it has some sauce or whatever, if you heat it up in the microwave or wherever you do it, you know, it starts to boil, you're going off, man. Then you're going off, you know, but like I said, we're gradually towards it. Now I have the final scripture and it's spiritual because we just reached our destination. You know, this is Lamentation. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 6. Lamentation chapter 2, verse 6. Um, and he had violently taken away his tabernacle, which we are his tabernacle. And if it were of, uh, of a garden, he had destroyed his place of the assembly. Yahweh had caused the solemn feast and sabbaths to be forgotten in zion and had despised in the indignation of his anger the king king and priest so the sabbath days are forgotten man you know so now we that are rehearsing the righteous acts in the places of drawn waters you know we will remember yahweh and the ways the law and the commandments that he gave us you know so we are teaching the ways of yahweh and we are bringing these things back to remembrance man you know, though though ye once knew this, man, we once knew what the real Sabbath was. We once knew that we can discern the times by the by the sun and the moon. You know, but they were forgotten. You know, the scripture in uh, Chronicles. I'm not gonna grab it right now because we finna go to the camp. But the scripture in Chronicles says um, uh, the tribe of Issachar were were masters uh, uh, of the time, man, uh, with the stars and the and the constellation. You know, so they with it with the stars of heaven, they could see what time they they were in, man. That's why the tribe of Issachar are the so-called Mexicans, which the so-called Mexicans created a, a, a calendar also. You know, Mayans, the Mayans, which the word Mayan is a Hebrew word which means uh, waters, which the heavens, the universe, the space is called the water, man, the water above the firmament. So that's all spiritual, man. But like I just read in Lamentation. The most I took away are Sabbath and feast days. So now we are living in a time that we got to remember these things and we got to bring back the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning it, man. You know, which that's what we're doing. So yeah, man, with that, I hope it was edifying. You know, I'll see y'all in the next lesson real soon. You know, we go to the camp today. Salakia, we're not going live. I don't believe we're going live, man. You know, my phone is not, not, not really that uh, charged that much, neither. You know, but maybe I can put it up uh for a couple of minutes man uh, we're gonna see 
So with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakadash, Basham Rakakadash, Shalom to the elect out there spreading the